Hey, what's up, guy? Here's another video of your card facts channel. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the engine oil. The engine oil, why we have to change the engine oil, and what would happen if you don't change the engine oil on your car because it's one of it's part of the tune up and it's very important to change the engine oil of your car because it could happen be very very serious things on your car and you don't want to pay more to the mechanic only because you didn't change the oil on your car so here is uh, some facts about the engine oil of your car hope you guys like it and we're gonna continue with the video also you will learn about the three main functions of the oil on your car Many people think that the engine oil is only to lubricate the engine, but no, my friends. There are another two functions of the engine oil that you have to know in order to maintain your car in good working order. So here are the three main functions of the engine oil in your car engine. My friends, the first function of the engine oil as you might know, is to lubricate all the internal parts of the engine. We need lubrication in order to avoid the friction of metal parts inside the engine. So that would be the first function of the engine oil. Lubricate all the internal parts of the engine, including the crankshaft, the camshaft, parts of the, of the cylinder head, and well the main thing would be the crankshaft that's the main thing it has to be lubricating also the camshafts uh, on the cylinder head it would be uh, w one of the parts more important parts that has that has to be lubricated with the engine oil so that would be my friends the first function of the engine oil lubricate internal metal parts of the motor of the car engine that that would be the first function my friend so we're gonna go to the second function of the engine oil the second function my friends is to clean to clean the engine you see the difference between an old engine oil and a clean engine oil so the second function of the engine oil my friends is to clean the internal parts of the engine that would be the second the second function of the engine oil clean up all the parts because the engine oil my friends has additives has additives the they have some kind of detergents detergents or something like that i don't know if i pronounce it uh, the right way but it has some kind of uh, additives that will clean the engine inside if you don't clean the engine inside then you will might have a problem we're gonna talk about it a little bit later but that would be the second function of the engine my friends and now we're gonna go to the third function the third and last function you see the oil filter there is clogged it's bad and that happens my friends because they don't change the oil it shows that also like it has water on the oil, it has coolant on oil. So that's another bad thing in order, uh, that's a bad thing about engine oil. You cannot uh, mix it with water or coolant. If you have a problem with the cylinder head gasket, that would happen. The water will mix with oil or the coolant will mix with oil. And the third function, my friend, is to cool down the engine. If you have lubrication, then the engine will be cooled down by the oil because there's going to be less friction between metals. So that's the third function of the engine. You can see there that that would happen also if you don't change the oil often, if you don't change it according to the owner's manual. So the pickup too, it will get clogged. It will be full of some kind of dirty things inside the engine and the oil is not going to go up to the uh, to the oil pump so that, that's another bad thing if you see when there is lubrication there is also a, a cool down in the internal part of the engine that's why like I mentioned before 
the third function of the engine oil is to cool down the engine because it reduces the friction. That's very important to know about the engine oil. My friends, if you're gonna change the oil, just remember you gotta have, you gotta buy the right oil filter. If you if you change the oil and you put the wrong oil filter, it will cause a big problem. You will lose the oil pressure. The oil pressure will be really low, and also it can cause uh, more friction to the internal part of the engine, and the engine is gonna is gonna break down pretty soon. So make sure you're buying the the right the right oil filter when you go to the auto parts store make sure they're giving you the right one if it's smaller than the original one don't buy it you it has to be the same size it has to be the same oil filter it doesn't matter about the brand but it has to be the same one also when you're buying the oil you have to make sure the you're buying the right type of oil of your car if it says on the oil cap uh, you have to put 10W30, you have to buy that one. Don't change it. Don't change the, the viscosity of the engine oil. If it says 5W10, 5W20, you have to buy the right one. But if it has high high uh, mileage on your car, then you buy the, the one with additives, additives that, that will uh, help to high mileage engines. But don't change the viscosity because it's very important to maintain the same type of oil of the engine. If you keep changing the viscosity of the engine, you will cause uh, damage to the engine. It will cause uh, more uh, more friction and then the engine will break down pretty soon or sooner than what we ex expect. Don't go to the uh, don't go as according the old school, uh, myth the saying that, that if you put a high viscosity engine oil is gonna be better to the engine no my friends no it's not the case on today's cars in today's engines uh, the oil has to be the right one has to be the one that shows on the owner's manual the one that says uh, it has to have the engine because it's very important don't put a, a let's say 20 w50 on a car that says that it takes 10W30 or 10W20. Don't do not do like that. Uh, m maybe be uh, before uh, on those old times, like on 70s, 80s, it was good. I mean, you could put uh, any type of oil on your car. Those engines were really, really uh, strong. But now we have the overhead cam engines in which uh, it has to have the right, the right oil because if you put a high viscosity oil on those type of engines, the time of the engine going up to the cylinder head is going to be longer and there's going to be more friction to the engine. There's going to be more, more work without oil, without lubrication. And that's a really, really bad thing to the engine because it's going to last, it's going to last, um, it's going to be a, a, a really bad engine. And it's not gonna last the longer, the long that we expect of the engine. So it's very important, my friends, to change the oil uh, according to the owner's manual. Uh, put the right oil uh, about the brands. Like I said, I'll go by uh, Mobile One. It could be Bubble Line. It could be um, any type of brands. Uh, I don't go by one specific brand because all of them uh, are good at this time. All of them have good has uh, good additives, so it doesn't matter about the brand. What it matters is that you change the oil according according the owner's manual, according what it says on the on the manual, and change it with the right type of oil. Don't change the viscosity. Don't change the to a high higher viscosity oil. My friends, hope you like this video. Uh, we don't have no more to say about the engine oil. Hope you got, hope you guys like it. Hope you guys like this information. I know my English is not that good. I know my English uh, sometimes sounds like really funny, <laughs> but I'm a I'm a, a Mexican and I live in Mexico, 
I learned English and hope you guys like the video. See you next time.